three, two, one. You're live. Quick. Evening all, and uh, welcome to my channel, AH Bespoke. Um, thanks to Richard and Dale. As always, um, fantastic co-hosts. Um, tonight, and for the next couple of nights, I'll be doing um, continuous carving out of this piece. It's um, polyester ivory replica from GPS agencies, and I will be carving. Can you see that? I call it the Viking Battle of Britain. Um, so I've only drawn in the top half because I'll end up rubbing it off drawing on the bottom half. So I've left the bottom half blank. As we go through, I'll start adding to it um, on that. Um, say hello to everyone in the chat. Um, I can see Leona, Jeff, Jay, Nick. Uh, Karam, right, Kurz, David, and I think that's everybody. Yeah, is everybody who spoke? I think. Yeah. Cool. Hey, everybody, Jay's in the chat. Obviously, wouldn't think that you, Jay's here. Yeah. Cool. This guy called Rick. So what? <laughs> flip the camera over um, make sure it's in the right place flip the camera over and hi Scott, i just seen Scott jump in there as well yep, uh, Steve Twydale's in the chat hi Steve um, yeah I think we're all good cool, so, right. Andy, can yes. I just have a question for you are you going to carve the pictures out or are you going to carve around them? okay so pictures are going to be three-dimensional that's the idea so popping out i'm going to carve in so the background if you like is the bit that goes away so yeah. the figure will be uh, so you could roll it and make make a um an imprint if you you know a potentially yeah ink on it or something yeah that'd be cool um although the figures will be shaped ah. so there, there'll be uh, oh, and stasis in there as well. Um, yeah, so there'll be sort of three-dimensional type. But what I do is I'll start with the, um, the border at the top and the bottom, so it's separated from the bottom, um, and then we'll get cracking on the uh, on the actual details. All right. Cool. Cool. I'll hand you over to my uh, wonderful assistants. And I'll uh, sort of camera out and get cracking. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. Camera. Don't leave me here with him. I can put your head to me, Dale. Oh, don't. No, not again. There's probably a special list for people that do that. <laughs> <laughs> there probably is. <laughs> special list. Head squeezers. <laughs> Kind of thing, special one. You've got to, you've got to tell your neighbours some things. Oh. You know, when you move into an area. Yes, I am a notorious video head squeezer. I've got to go on some kind of register. Special oh. registers, some sort of course, some sort of course. Uh Mr. Wayne, complete detour, but yeah. So, um, the my my nephew got home. Um, so we'll probably do we'll probably do it this weekend, which is Chinese. Chinese New Year weekend. Do, do, do. Did he say he was going to relief carve this, or, or, um, or? Well, that's what I'll... What he said he's going to do is going to take the background away, mm -hmm. but he's also going to carve into the figures to make them. Right. How deep? I think that was a, uh, I don't know, sort of, we'll see. It certainly happened. appeared to be the case. It certainly appeared mm. to be the case. It certainly appeared to be the case. 
I don't really know the size yet. I'm just gonna oh. go go with it. Go uh, on then, young sir. Let's see what the story is. I'll mute the mic. Right Radio. Right. Hi, Stace. Various Steves, various, various. I think we're only. I think we've got one win. We've got a. We've got a Scott. Um. <clears throat> Any questions for Andy? Any questions? You want to know what he's doing, or I don't know what tip he's using. Where he had the idea from? Did you? Um. He probably could can hear us still. Did you yeah. actually draw that on yourself, Andy? Is it out of your your brain? Yeah, so it's not a copy of something else. <coughs> Good. Uh, Scott, uh, the blue light toner. Yes, Scott, we definitely are. And I think white's definitely the color for the for the David Bowie. Um, um, so yeah, should be fun. <sighs> so this is polyester, right? It's not like acrylic. It's not epoxy. Is it? Is it polyester? No, it's polyester. Yeah. I'm starting to get my eye in because you can see when, when he's carving it. I mean, having watched a few now, you can see when he's carving it, they're quite... It's much more dusty than the... It's much more dusty than... than... Um, than the epoxy or the oh, definitely, yeah. Um, or uh, the acrylic stuff. What's the acrylic stuff? Is that the kerenite? Is acrylic? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's like the plasticky stuff. That's such a nice stuff to work with. Yeah, it's really nice. But as, as much, I mean, it's much more. I mean, I'm getting asked obvious question. I mean, the ep epoxy is a plastic. Cause it's, uh, epoxy is a plastic, but is it really? Is it much softer? Or is, I mean, what's the difference? How does it feel? Um, what the kerenite? It's yeah, just, well, the, you know, yeah, because one's acrylic and one's um, one's obviously, you know, I mean, well, epoxy's acrylic. But, yeah, what's the fundamental difference when you're, you're you're doing them? I think it's the finish and the way. See how this uh, for Andy, this polyester is mm. like really dusty, where the acrylic isn't so dusty. It, you can shave it off in nice little um, shavings, if you know what I mean. It's mm. like. It's more like, um, let me think. It doesn't. It's not brittle, like polyester. Mm -hmm. if you know what I mean? You got shoes, and Jake. Uh, in the chat, we have um, uh, free lovings in the chat. Hi, free. Um, uh, Da, 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 da. We've got Scott saying, "Cool, share that out later." Eliana says, "I don't think I've ever seen Andy copy anyone." Um, uh, the dude's an original talent, and Kaz is saying very truly, on it. I think we'd all agree with that. Definitely. Uh, and the reason I asked what I asked was so that that uh, showcases Al uh, Andy's talent. Really, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? He definitely is. Definitely original. Yeah, if definitely. anything. For the beard and the and the and the court alone takes him to that status, you know. When he built the built the the Viking court, never mind uh, the, the countless other pieces of original art he's produced since. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, I've seemed to remember the first time I saw him. I, I don't know if he was in a previous house or something where he was in his kind of cave with all his axes and everything round about him when he was being interviewed. Yeah, uh, very original. That was um, that wasn't this house, was it? On Makers International podcast, wasn't he? It was. Yeah. It was on the Makers that International big podcast. Deal behind him. He did. He yeah, did. It's the first time I remember seeing him. Yeah, that was his old um, garage. That was like uh, Aladdin's cave. That was. He had this little narrow passage. It was like coming into a workshop, and we were like both shuffling down like this. We'll leave. We'll leave that. Just keep, Andy had a narrow passage, and we'll just leave that alone, shall we? Uh, yeah. I mean, what past? What past? That what past the comedy opportunity? It wasn't narrow after all, because <laughs> yeah. you have to clear a bit of space. Um, out in the chat, we've got Thrifty VG. 
Give it to me. Bring it here. Come here. It's not yours. Go and get it. Go and get it. Bring it here. Come on. Bring it here. No, to me, you silly dog. Ah, oh, you dirty dog. I made these things for Cheryl. Um, for her rats. So it's a, it's a piece of... Um, oh, what is it? Hazel. A piece of hazel about nine inches long. And then I glued a threaded bar into the end. So they'll go through the cage like this. And then there'll be a piece of fabric in between them. So the, like a little little hammocks for the rats. Any excuse to use my sewing machine and uh, I want it. Yeah. So Thrifty's in. Uh, David Birch is Birch in. Is in. Hi is from it? Texas. Uh... Right, so Stace says, Scott, I like poly over epoxy. Well, that's just me. I like, uh, I, well, I didn't pay for the litres and litres and litres of um, epoxy that I was given, did I, Dale? But, uh... <laughs> it was poly. It was poly. Uh, poly, poly. Oh, it was, yeah, poly? Poly, yes, yeah. Poly? Yeah. Poly put the kettle on. Yeah. My other half is inquiring about the, the 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 shavings thing. Still inquiring. Is it still sore? Yes. Is it still sore? Yes. I should put some aftershave on, but aftershave always makes you feel. It makes me feel like my dad. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, so, Cuz says he does forget to highlight his talent. His approach is: I made this. When it should be, I thought of this, drew it, and then made it. Yeah, that's Andy. All <laughs> summed up, really, isn't it? I've messed up. Do us a favour. Can you let the dogs upstairs, please? Because I can't stand there clicking click, 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 on the laminate flooring, and I bet it's driving everybody mad in there. Bed. Child slaving. You're not a child. You need 20. Okay, so winding this one back. <clears throat> There's a few in here we kind of missed. I think somewhere about 9.26. Uh, Scott, uh, Scott, I like poly over epoxy, but that's just me, says Stace. Uh, Steve Twydale asks, not knowing anything about resins, as everyone knows, are the shavings and offcuts recycle? Uh, the short answer is, uh, short answer is Steve, Yes, um, but there's some some question marks over over whether they retain any usefulness. Uh, if you put poly in with poly, um, the temperature can melt it down, so you wind up with a kind of you know discolored mess. But if that's what you were chasing, then cool. Um, um, but if you put epoxy in with epoxy in with polyester it should retain its shape again it's a temperature thing that seems to be the the problem um but if you want to just mix it in and and kind of recycle it towards being a useful thing then you can absolutely uh, uh recycle the shavings however the dust of polyester is far more is far finer um and far more of a, a breathing hazard than than, than epoxy I was talking to Matt when we went over the other day, Saturday, um, and I think Matt's going to try. And well, he was talking about um, the going over and doing a little visit to where they have all their stuff made. Because mm. um, I'd like to, I'd like to film it, do it as a little a, a mini documentary type thing. Over so, and well, whatever the, the I forget the name of the country. Yeah. It's over in Europe somewhere. Mm. So. But I think that will be a really interesting um, video to watch of how how it, how Kerenite's made and how they get those um, patterns in it, you know. But, um, it's various chat. So, winding back to the chat, 
we have Scott saying, had my sewing machine out today, had to free my feminine side. Um, Stace says, Scott, I can't use one. Um, Scott then goes on, say, Stace, I learned at school. I must confess, I learned to use a sewing machine at school. Um, but so did you. Scott then, yeah. I think Scott reveals the truth about this. He fancied his home economics teacher, Stace. Yes. I'm trying to think of the. I'm trying to think desperately of the name of the particular <laughs> lady who was ours, but I could totally sympathise with that. Because uh, you don't know, right? Oh, this, this well, particular lady was just that sort of what we now understand to be. Uh, actually, I'm not going to say that. on Andy's channel is quite early. Begin with but M. Begins with M. Yes. Begins not with G. M. Not G. Uh, no, no. Begins with M. Um, a lady of a lady of, of some an attractive lady of her years, um, but to a room full of um, teenage boys, she was a goddess, <laughs> and we'll just leave it there. Um, Cuz says we have we we have had sewing machines in our house bef uh, since before I was born, and both my aunt and stepmom can use them, but she doesn't have a clue. Um, uh, See, I did I did sewing because I was the only boy in a class full of girls. And it's quite, you know, the girls want to help you because you're a boy and you shouldn't be in there. So, Well, that's the excuse they're giving. Kind I, of thing. I made these curtains behind me. I made yeah. these cushions. Cool. These cushions, loads of them. <laughs> All right, Shannon. I helped Shannon make this one. I was teaching oh, her. Okay. Zip okay. It. But, okay. So. Um, uh, Scott says, low cut tops and knee high boots. Uh, then were the days. Then were the days. And tastefully, and, and tasteful lengths of Scott, young Scott. Um, nothing that was, nothing that was too, too, uh, so, I mean, enough about what you were wearing, Scott. What about the teacher? <laughs> Because uh, says we've never had anyone like that in my school. Leona says not sure. Jeff asked the question um, further up. Um, not sure. Jeff just said they were going to be at Makers. Um, is more expensive than they're already super expensive resin. Chris, there's about chat going on and about resins. Maybe GPS are talking about. Mm. Oh, yeah. Hi, Mark. That looks so much better to use in your hand, Andy, than the other one that you used to use. Looks like you got a lot more control over that. I think that's a thumb up. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So, um, so we came back with uh, loads of goodies from GPS on Saturday. Yeah. Um, loads of whole box full of goodies each. Andy more so than others. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he he thought he'd gone. He was like a child in an epoxy or a resin sweet shop. Um, out in the chat, Jeff says he uses uh, glass cast. Um, uh, yep, glass cast. I use um, amazing clear cast. Um, quite a slow set for when I'm doing infill and, and pictures. And there's a German company called Dupont. Who make a, a range of relatively cheap resins for for a, a range of things? You can, if you if you track them down, folks, um, you can cut the cost of, of some of your resin work by a third to a half. Um, a German company, it's good stuff. They're a bit like a European Total Boat. Um, you're not going to get the uh, Dupont, D Dupont. I can't remember. I'll find the name while we're while we're while we're doing a Dupont. Of course, I can drop it in the. The the thing, kind of. That's Resin. what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Um, Dipon, I think it is, if I'm totally honest. Ah, okay. You know. There we go. Crystal clear resin. Dipon epoxy plast. Yeah, there you go. I have you now. <laughs> oh, there's a couple of messages in our private chat. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Um... Where are we? There we go. Um, where are we? I've just seen someone say hello. Oh, shop dog. Hello. Yeah, so you can get three kilos of it's a it's a two to one, 
folks, have a look at that. Um, um, you get an awful lot of resin, relatively low cost, much cheaper than the than the equivalent from some of the others. Give it a go. Uh, I think it depends, Jeff, on which one you get. So the uh, the they make several stands. I mean, I've just flicked in the one from Amazon. Go to the website. They do three or four different types. If you're just using it for the tables, um, then that stuff. But if you're going to pour it, then absolutely you've got to watch for the, the temperature. Because up to about 60 or 70. What What is that? Is that um, poly? Yeah, well, it's, it's poly, not polyester, mm -hmm. no, it's epoxy. Epoxy, yeah. It's pretty cool. Mm. But they make sure you make sure you pay attention to the company. They do lots of different stuff for different applications. So when you're buying one, make sure you're buying one. If you're doing a river table, it'll let you pour quite, quite shallow, and there's others that'll let you pour quite deep. If you pour too deep, um, with some of them, you get the effect that Jeff's talking about. It heats up like a lot of them. Poly's bad for that. Certainly the poly I had. I gave it a go uh, when I was doing some pouring work. Um, I needed something that was quite flow and that worked out pretty well. When I thought I'd do a resin table, I made a tremendous mess, but it was a lot of fun. Much less, and the fumes from it are, are very much epoxy rather than polyester. So, in other words, you're not left with your head exploded. Mm. Um, I um, thought it very important. A, a resin table, but um, I didn't. I, I quite like the idea of not having like a river, but kind of hacking a load out the center of the table and still leaving the outside and just, you know, and then maybe burning it and making it that way. I don't know. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. This uh, this chest infection is proving to be troublesome little sewing, so wouldn't clear. Um, Jeff says he tried a pine cone and a three liter coke bottle. It was like a volcano. Three liter, three liter coke bottle. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of resin. That's a lot of resin. Oh, it probably means he cut it down, maybe. Cut the top yeah. off and used it as a... I hope so. Yeah. Because, hmm. I mean, roughly, it's what um, water, I suppose a, a litre of water is equivalent to a kilo or something. It's pretty close. It is, yeah, it is. Pretty exactly. close. One yeah. litre of a kilo, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kaz says he wants to do an epoxy table with a, with a space theme. Would they have tables in space cars? I mean, you know, a lot like, like sci-fi, but it's returning with Steve Twitter. I like what Andy is doing because it's new use for resin products. I'm just kind of the stage where I'm over resin hybrids and turning. <clears throat> yeah, so... Dale, that uh, piece of glow in the dark. Uh -huh. I was thinking, um, I'm not actually using it. So if you want to put it behind something in the future, I could do that. And it's quite, it's it's yours. How it's big is it? How, how big is it? Um, bear with me. Let's get my tape measure. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> So it is. It's about three foot by. Bloody hell. Sorry. By what? About 16 inches. Six, 16 inches, that's what she said. I would. Uh, I think that would be quite fun to put. It needs to be the right thing, though, because, I mean, you wouldn't want to lose. I mean, because most of the stuff I do, there's quite a bit of coverage. But. But. Um, um, I've been asked to do uh, an interpretation of the of the cover of Ashley Crowley's 1927 novel Moonchild, which is absolutely. I mean, it's a full art decor piece. It's absolutely amazing. I I, I just hope I can do it justice. Um, it's a present for someone. Um, um, 
and they're they've I mean the, the lady the lady's eighty seven and I think she knew the artist. I think she knew the artist. So I said, sure, why not? I'll do that for you. It'll be, you know, it'll be quite big, I think. Yeah. But it might work with that. It might work really interesting with that because there's some texture to the image. Oh, back um, in cool. Oh. Wayne says, wood is definitely cheaper, Andy. Jeff, I 100% agree with you. Um, um, Not for me, though, Wayne. Of course, because at the moment you receive, you, you're, uh, you're, you're sponsored. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, so um, I can understand why something like this would be an awful lot of money for people to buy. If I'm being completely honest, mm -hmm. this is probably about, I'd say about a hundred quid's worth of, mm. possibly more. <coughs> it's absolutely beautiful, though. Absolutely, yeah. Well, why do you think I'm taking full advantage of while I've got? Oh, yes, yes, indeed. So it's sixteen by twenty-eight, Dale. Sixteen by twenty-eight. That's yeah. about an A. That's about an A three. Yeah. Roughly, roughly a three. Two foot four inches by yeah, roughly, roughly a three. One foot four inches. Um, back in the chat, Jeff, river tables are great, absolutely. Um, but they're an expensive thing to make. Um, for both the slab, as I'm sure you're well aware, um, the slab and the resin, and I've got and and if you make an art, uh, if you make an arse of it, it's an expensive mistake. Mm. Um, um, very, very, very expensive. Uh, Steve says mm, the free stuff is free, uh, wood's cheaper than resin. Uh, mm, the free stuff is Wayne. Not sure about the shop bought stuff in terms of wood. Um, uh, Steve, uh, Wayne goes on to say, Steve, I buy mine in bulk, not in blanks. Um, Leona says, Do you have a secret supplier, Wayne, or is it a shop? Uh, Steve says, Best way to do it, Wayne. Yep, uh, David. Uh, adds in true Steve I buy from a supplier and most of it has cracks and splits gave up buying their stuff I'm sure that was we have a couple of suppliers Leona Scott See, I'm the blue a position where at the moment I get wood for nothing and I get this as well so quite Take live hi young sneak mr. young mr. sneak and Dave the Wood Barber's in. Hi, Dave. Hey, Dave. Ah, so Blue Light Turner says he had a sort out of his workshop on his birthday, which was Saturday. Uh, he's got so many acrylic blanks. Going to sell some soon, so keep your eyes peeled. I'd imagine cool. that's not uh, social media. Cool, cool, cool. Just going to take a slurp. Slurp of what? Midnight Joker's in. Coffee. Hi, Mike. Uh, oh, Mike. Right, I remember that. And uh, Clive's in as well. Yeah. <coughs> I nearly choked myself on my tea. He... I'll go back to mute, guys. I'll... No worries. Right. I do have a question for Stace out in the chat. Stace, um, had you had you had too much coffee or too much tea when you started dancing to the music at the start of Premiers earlier on today? What was going on there? I've, did you bang your head perhaps as you were coming out of a cupboard? That was that, that music just goes right through me. I don't understand how you could possibly be dancing to it. I can't stand it. It's just, it's just. I just wish you could put your own there. Well, that would be fun. You know, mm. it would be fun. I mean, I know why they do it, but even so. Leona says, "I need to, I need to." Sh do a shed tidy. My uncle is over from Australia and brought me a blank. He wants me to teach him how to turn something. 
can't even reach the lathe at the moment with all the crap in the way. I feel there's a, a number of people in the chat would uh, would would sympathise, Leona. Um, um, me included right now because I'm building another rack near it. Um, Dave's in. Dave the wood barber. Uh, Scott says, Leona, I had to sort out mine. Starting to teach a lady to turn this weekend. Uh, Stay says, I love, love, love the prep music with a number of smiley, lovey faces. Um, Leona says, Jay, did you show Steve your flower? Now, I mean, that's just comedy gold sitting there right there, isn't it? <laughs> uh, Dave, the wood bar, ha ha, rich. Dave already said that. Oh, well. Are you, feed, are you feeding your face? What, what have you got on your face? Sweeties. Where's mine? Up there by the, the um, Xbox. Jaffa cakes? No. I am gonna make that I'm gonna make that Jaffa Cake wine rack that we talked about earlier on. I think that will be priceless. You know, I feel there's I feel there's an opportunity. I think it was Cuz really that gave me the idea earlier on. I think it was his fault when I did the the, the rack for the the silicon and the mastic. I think it's his fault. So if you see one up here, blame him. Uh would turn about Steve Swidev. My saying I'm over res internally is just a personal opinion, by the way. I'm not knocking folk that enjoy it. It's just uh, it's just I think it has a lot more potential and a wider usage as Andy is now proving. Where's that? Oh yeah. It's in live chat. I had to switch over. I kept missing stuff. Yeah. Seems to be taking its time. I don't know how I don't know what the algorithm is for top chat, but live chat is definitely the place to be when you're doing this, otherwise you miss folk. Yeah, you're gonna find yourself scrolling all the way back up, and as for as for Streamyard, it's hideously slow. From the point of view of the live comments, it's 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 usually behind. Um, I, had, I had an email today about Streamyard actually. Did you? Um, ev same as the one everyone else has probably had that have uh, mm -hmm. signed up to it, but they've now got a uh, green screen. Yeah, saw that. That's quite fun. I'll have a play with that. I think. wonder if wonderful wonderful will have uh, if it'll be available for everybody to play with you know it's probably going to be for people that buy the the actual basic pack. or the premier package there's got to be some sort of differentiation <laughs> you know, other than just taking the logo away the, the, you know the, the for the what they want for the um the full program you know yeah. to unlock everything there isn't that much to unlock for 20 odd dollars a month I don't think it's worth it. It's, I mean, it's definitely the easier application to use, but, I mean, I paid for the full thing. Well, I didn't pay for the full thing. I got a discount because I know one of the developers, but the, 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 I won't be, I won't be taking him up in his opportunity to renew it because I just don't use it. I mean, I don't have the logo in the corner of mine, but I just don't use it because it's, um, everything you can do with that, you can kind of do with OBS. Um, it just takes a bit more monkey, monkey, monkeying around to bring people in mm. you know you can kind of fold google hangouts in but it's much better to i mean this is much easier um um but you can definitely do it what we got on the chat Kaz says, I did think it was for Jaffas originally. I feel I may have damaged you, young man, if that's where your head went the minute I made something like that. <laughs> um, um, absolutely. However, I do feel whenever I type OBS, I do feel that it's, that it's there's, there's a potential illness um, with a similar lesson. I have typed it by accident a few times when I've been explaining to people what it is I use. Um, but yeah, OBS is awesome, TM. Well, the well, the the Andy, well, the the area with the the birds and the <coughs> excuse me, sorry, um, um, will the area with the birds and the Vikings be much deeper, or will it be equally as shallow shallow as the as the marks? Yeah, there. 
Yeah, it's going to be quite a bit deeper. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because um, okay. I want them to pop out. The idea being the these bits, the pen drawings are going to be popping. Well, that's the idea. Okay, cool. Um, and then the background sort of chiseled away. Almost like um, a Viking, co uh, Viking column, Roman column type thing. Well, we've got your mic. How hard was it to draw the figures and the birds on the round plastic? Well, I mean, it is effectively plastic. How hard was that to do? I use a permanent pen. Okay. Um, so I really occasionally... Because have... <laughs> <laughs> it's not that permanent on this kind of a surface. Okay. It can be quite... I can use wire wool and take it off and you wouldn't know it was there. Right. In fact, I, I did quite a few times that this character has been deleted and redone about four or five times. Yeah. This one, not so much, because for some reason Pretty that came out on. the first time. But okay. um, I was sort of to and fro in. I was going to have two Vikings, but then I thought, well, that's kind of a bit... It's not really telling the story. Yeah. Um, Can you move the camera a little bit, Andy? Yeah. Which way? That it's way. Toward, that's it, just towards you. Yeah. Hold on. It's as you're as you're as you're working in different parts, you that's know, I mean, right. the, the the positioning is, is slightly different, and it's kind of moving it down towards towards you. Cool, cool. Um, Nick, the flaming tunnel says, "How do you, oh, hi, Clive, basically." Um, and Jay just asked the same thing we did, which was, can you move the camera? <coughs> cool. Has made it more awkward, but yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's uh, all good. What you need is a what you need is a is a an Andy cam one on your forehead too. Well, you know your endoscope cam thing that you yes, have? I've acquired one myself. Good man. Good man. Was it the bendy one or the floppy one? Oh no, bendy. Awesome. Um, from Wish, so I don't know how good it's going to be. It can't be that big. I mean, there can't be that much variation in Chinese low-cost endoscope cams. No, exactly that. That's what I was thinking. It's probably not going to be waterproof, though. Well, the one I bought was. They all kind of hermetically sealed. <laughs> yeah, mine, There's no mic on it, them. It, it did say... Um, it's waterproof, so. Oh. And it's have got you, a mic on it. Have you tested it? Briefly on my phone. Have you tested it by putting it in your ear or some orifice? <laughs> um, no. I put it under a door. You put it under. <laughs> I don't know what it's worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I think they'll have a problem with that. Pardon? Wasn't your neighbour's door, was it? No, no, no. Oh, sorry. Let's get that list out. Let's get that list out again, Richard. <laughs> I think he's going to be he's going to be joining me on it. Yeah. Um, out in the chat, um, Nick the Flaming Tunnel says, if Chuck Norris was English, he would be on that project. Um, Stace is having a chuckle. Uh, uh, Shop Dog says, depends whose door. Well, I was at school. I was at school? Yeah, yeah. What? No, no, it was funny. <laughs> Excuse me while I sit here shocked. It's just for a moment. I'm not sure really. I've got, a, I've, got a, I've got a mental error message. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to go with this. <laughs> we were messing around in the uh, in our office. And it was uh, it was like a secret agent type. Can I can I recommend that? Can I recommend answering that question with some orifice next time? Wrap <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. the ear or news. I'm going to ask a very very. Uh, a, a question that is, is much more to do with my ignorance than anything else was this the style of the I'm going to use I'm going to say cross hatching here I'm sure that's not what it's called but where you're currently doing 
Is that got a specific name? That particular, you know, is that a particular style? I have no idea. It has a honest. kind of. I mean, I'm not sure if it's Viking, but it has a kind of Romano-Greek kind of feel to it, with maybe a hint of Gaelic or Celtic. Yeah, well, Celtic Viking, Northern Viking, yeah. Northern. Yeah. Um, it's a bit Roman. Yeah, well, uh, like them as squares. It looked like. But then, uh, how many patterns throughout history have been recycled over and over and over and over and over and over again? Exactly. Uh, hence why I was asked, you know, because the, the style that's in a Celtic cross is very, very Celtic, if you know what I mean. You can spot it from the other side of the world, sort of thing. And it doesn't yeah, really yeah. reach you up. Um, I just wondered if it had a name, you know, because, I, I mean, some stuff is very Roman, you know, very Egyptian, and there's some things that are very, very Viking. Oh. Yeah. I wonder if it had a name. Just wonder if it had a particular name. Um. Um. Out in the chat. Um. Out in the chat. Uh, the blue light tunnel says he's still thinking about. Andy has been checking out the home eco uh, economics teacher. No. No. It, it wasn't the home ec teacher. It wasn't the home ec teacher, Scott. Um. Um, Midnight Joker says, Mike says, bit, <clears throat> bit like a basket weave. Um, um, Steve Toy Death says, Andy, is this going to be a story cylinder or are you turning it into a vessel of some kind? Um, well, it's going to be like a, yeah, like a story vessel. Well, not a vessel because it's not going to be hollowed out. Or anything like that. It's literally just a story cylinder. Uh, Cuz was suggesting he, he thought it, he felt the the pattern was more Celtic. Um, Mike at Midnight Joker says Polynesians also use similar patterns. Yeah. <clears throat> um, the blue light turner says upscutting is illegal, Nick. Whoever can think of some inappropriate uses. Of course, so it is. Wonder if that also works for up kilting too. Nah, just being a not. being a being a Scotsman. I mean, I could just I'm just sort of I don't want to take away well. from I don't want to don't want to take away from the from from the the horror or the discomfort. But I just <laughs> up kilting. There was nothing untoward happening during the camera messing around. If I be completely honest with you. It was Other just than being, that my cool. being, <laughs> being schoolboys. Stupid, yeah. Uh, looking round corners and things like that. It wasn't. <laughs> it was the novelty of being able to see stuff round corners. The bendy one makes such a difference because you can really, you know, I mean, you you have to support it to some extent. But you can take that last six or twelve inches and just kind of put it where you want it to be. Yeah. Nobody Wrap says post or don't. <laughs> don't don't <laughs> pointing See, at some, Richard here. <laughs> I've got some of those like that, but they they attach to my tattoo gun, and they're a little LED like a um, what's that dish that um, in the depth that's got like a like a light on the end of what's it called? Huh? A fish with big teeth. Uh... It's not a monkfish, no, is it? No. no. Anglerfish. Angler, that's Anglerfish. it. Yeah, it's got like a little light. Yeah. So when I was using these tattoo guns, they had this little anglerfish LED that, that went. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Quite good, actually. Oh dear. Oh dear. Tattooing in the dark. Uh, tattooing in the dark. Um, mm. Out in the chat. It says, uh, Blue Light Tunnel says, could be a fun way of, w of waking drunk. Um. Cuz uh, says copying the Splinter Cell game. Uh, Mr. Twydale says, "Cool. I wonder if you were. I wonder if you were to put it into another cylinder with a slot and shine a light through it, whether it would project the carved shadows." What? Well, you Andy. If my original plan was to bore the center out and then put some LED lights in, so it did light up like uh, a light, but. Um, I'm just too impatient. I just wanted to carve it. Um, I'll worry about drilling it later. Get off and do sort of thing. Yeah. 
I don't think, I just do. I'm sure there must be. There's got to be a t shirt in that. Yeah, there's got to be a t shirt in that with a Viking holding a holding an axe. I don't think I just do. Yeah, I like that. Maybe. Um, so. Hashtag Team Viking, just saying. Uh, just saying. Um, Thrifty V says, got to go, guys. Have a great evening. Night, Thrifty. Night, Thrifty. Thanks for dropping in, man. Uh, Flaming Turner says, so Andy was, so Andy was by a smoking shed and using it to see if anyone was coming, um, coming uh, to take a random guess. He'll take a random guess suggestion. You were using it to avoid being caught smoking. No, <laughs> I, no I wouldn't even hide it, to be fair. Um, but, um, no, we were just literally just messing around with it in the office. Nothing. Partly because I was, uh, their child protection and all that kind of stuff. I shouldn't really be walking around school with a camera. It's, you're not supposed to film in schools anyway, so... But it doesn't film. It's not a camera without devices, so it's. I mean, there's a it's clear pure disconnect. Yeah. yeah. Um. And I wouldn't want to risk my job, or worse still, going to prison. Of course. Um, however, however, I feel a more I feel a more disturbing thing has occurred. Young JP's in the chat. All right, JP. Hey JP, how's things? So Andy, have you seen the, um, do you know my SK80? I put a, a thread through the bottom and put it into the work surface so I could carve using the chuck. Have you thought about doing that with yours? Uh, no. It's not, it's not a permanent fixture, you just put so many bar through enough just to hold it. Yeah, but for you, I think it it would be really beneficial for you to have a, a little crack at it. Yeah, I kind of like holding it though because it's never it never stays in one place. So if it's mm. in one fixed place, like when I was doing this, it's going from there to there to there to there. Yeah, I've got one of the Dremel. Um, I've got one of the Dremel clamps. You could try. You know the one that kind of turns all the different angles? You can clamp it and it turns, you know, move it backwards or to the side. You could give it a go. I mean, I used to use it for soldering. But, I mean, it would probably take them and, you know. Um, they are. Have they got they, quite, quite wide oh, jaws there? It could go, yeah, I mean, it could go everywhere. I mean, it's a plastic soft jaw. So, I mean, you could try it. If it works out all right kind of thing, something to add to the Christmas list. Um, cool. But I, you could give it a punt. Yeah. I used to use it. Used to use it all the time for soldering. You know, I mean, it's not so much when I was making stuff for the house. Um, um, not so much in recent last year, but you could give it a punt. I, f I found them a bit awesome if I needed to keep it still while I was. You know that thing where your hand, your your, your third hand, your mouth kind of thing is just in the yeah. wrong, just too far away <laughs> to hold something. Uh... Da, 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 da. Andy had that Pegasus spiral blade in the wrong tool. I missed that. I missed opening gambit for that one. I feel he's using the one you're using just now. I feel he's talking about the one you're using just now. Oh, that's looking really nice. Pulling that relief back out. So, so we, um, when you finish this section, can you give it like a, a wipe down so we can really see it? Yeah, 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 absolutely, man. Obviously, leave making sure you don't uh, uh, rub out the you know, <laughs> the figures and the the birds. I have this vision of you having to be a kind of Dorset uh, Bob Ross, paint them all back in, and just look at this little guy here. Oh, isn't he happy? <laughs> I like this little guy down here. How if we just move this bit over here? Oh, and the trees. <laughs> mm. 
Andy, Steve Toydale asks, how is the material for chipping out, Andy? It's not chipped out yet. On this piece, anyway. Their mix is different, though. I seem to recall either you or Richard telling me, or maybe it was Matt. They said something about the mix. Maybe they mix it's different, so it's got less... They use less hardener or something, so it's a bit softer. Yeah, was it, was, something was it, like that. Was it you, or was it Richard, or was it Matt himself that said that? I think it might have been Matt himself that said yeah, that. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. me. That's okay. technical stuff. Yeah, I was going to say that's too technical for me. I wouldn't have done that. Well, no. I might have done, but... Because I remember when we, you, you guys first appeared with it when we were down at Yandos. I was quite shocked as to how well you carved that shark's tooth from it. You, everyone said Polly, and the first thing I thought was, this is going to chip to bits. You know, and it didn't. It carved really well. It, it really does carve amazingly well. What I can't, what, what amazed me was that no one had actually tried before to carve it. Um, fresh pair of eyes and different perspective that is unique to yourself, young man. Well, mm. add to that fact you wanted you had your carving stuff with you, you wanted to carve something. <laughs> well, no, I didn't. I didn't. I ended up buying stuff. Did of course so you did. Yeah, you mean you mean Sanyi sat and had a, had a tea while you were attacking the shark Yeah, that's it. Hmm. Right. Um, young JP says Andy with his happy little trees um, Midnight Joker I can picture the beards pine cone and resin top atop that carving pine cone and resin top oh yes that one over there go on then let's see it oh. have you I mean are you um, uh, oh it's uh, quite bold Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what, I mean, what's, what's the, what's the, 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 oh, another time, oh, another time. That was the one where I couldn't get back from work time to watch that one. I think I was trying to watch it while you were on the train or something when you were talking about that. Uh, that wasn't a live. That, that was a... Uh... The premiere. I think you might... Did you do it as a premiere? No, I didn't. Just a normal video. Yeah, well, I've not seen that one. I need to go and watch that one. Oh. It actually... Yeah, this, is the, this is the, the resin that you gave me. Is it? And it is absolutely... There's not... A, I mean, it's perfect. It was good gear. It's just it's really good nice. gear. It's just it was poly, and I was struggling to be able to use it. Um, I took it up to, uh, I think it was eighty psi, which was right on the, right on the blow off valve's point of blowing yeah. off, and I left it in there for forty eight hours. It's good. I mean, like I say, that stuff's good gear. But my word, is it strong smelling? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was for river tables. You could pour it ninety mil deep. Um, was the recommendation for us? That was why I was so interested in it. That's really deep, isn't it? Ninety. It's really, really deep. Really, really deep. It doesn't get too hot. <laughs> Goes to, it doesn't get too hot. But the more you pour, the hotter it gets. I certainly know the the bowls that I was trying to pour were were having some shenanigans when I was trying. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably because my workshop's so cold. Could be. It could be something. Something. Well, there's, there's not a blemish in it anyway. No void. Nothing. Uh, a little wider, please. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Upper closed. What's going on here? Look at this. Uh, Space makes. Oh, sorry. Apologize. Mike Midnight Joker says, "Looking good, Andy." Space makes. Um, hey, Andy, hi. may I ask, what are you using to clean out there, please? I'm only asking. I had to carve something. I think I was carved something earlier, and I bashed it on my leg and blew the flying sawdust out, so I could see what I was doing. It's the uh, little brush bit that you get with the Dremel. That's all I use. 
Kaz is suggesting he thinks that the air compressor is probably the best thing to use for blowing out dust. No, then it goes everywhere. <laughs> That's what I did. I blew my, the, you know, underneath the bandsaw, I blew that out with the air compressor yesterday and it, uh -huh. it, it covered the whole workshop in fine resin dust. <laughs> You're right, you are going quite deep. And uh, I can see I can see what you meant now. So what I'm gonna do is hog the hog it hog out the majority of it or as much as I can. And then just leave the character proud for now. And then slowly, slowly I'll work around it, add in the detail. Is this over two night, two lives, is it, Andy? Or is oh, it's it going to be it? over quite a few, I think, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mate, um, <coughs> sorry, mate, go on. I'll probably have to stop a bit sooner than uh, quarter past 11, 11 but because um, Jacob's not well. But um, How is a little tight? How is a little tight? Um... Bless him, he's, he's suffering a bit bad with the uh, conjunctivitis, but um, he'll be all right. He's not. It's, uh, it's one of those things. All kids get it at some point. Um, um, Nick the Flame Internal says he thinks he'll have to order a new one of them brush things um, or try and find his old one. Um, Steve Twydale was there, asks Andy. Does it get gummy with the fraction of the cutter, Andy? Does it get gummy? No. This stuff just turns to complete dust. Um, literally, I don't know if you can see all the dust coming off it, but uh, there's quite a bit of it coming off. Andy, I think I think young young Mr Mr Page is awaiting waiting entry in the green room. Oh. Boom. Ah, there he is. How you doing? You me. How's it going, mate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, folks out in the, the chat are, are wishing young Jacob um, all the best and hoping he gets better soon. Oh, thanks, guys. What's going on, young Mr. Page? Not a lot, mate. Not a lot. Oh, hashtag. There's, there's, there's a thing going on. Um, Team Viking, it's Team Scroll, so that's in the, in the chat with you. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Okay, bye, uh, JP. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, oh, even that, even Andy's got to admit he's turning into the dark side a little bit. Oh yeah, definitely, mate, definitely. Uh, Cuz says he hopes Jacob feels better soon. Thanks, Cuz. Is Rich press, press the wrong button? Rich, or something? 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 I'll say. <laughs> oh, it just right. says device is not connected. He's maybe, he's maybe, I don't know what he's saying. Oh, he, he, might have turned turned his, he might have turned his camera off. Maybe. Um, Steve Twydell says, uh, yep, our grand baba has a chest infection too. Hope your wee man gets better soon, Andy. Oh, bless. Same, same. It's not nice when little ones get ill. Especially when they can't tell you what's wrong. Uh, Scott Blue Light Tunnel says, get well soon, Jake. Thanks, mate.
You gonna finish hogging it out tonight? No, no. I'll only go so far. So if if uh, if anyone wants to leave, by all means. Um, I guess the fun part, the detail part, um, will be over the next couple of weeks. Um, Matt has asked if I can get this ready for G uh, for Maker Central. Mm. Um, so uh, I want to do a real good job, if you know what I mean. So um, yeah, it's gonna, I'm going to take my time. I uh I don't have a pen. Maybe <laughs> Maybe is uh is uh some facing the camera. Um, um uh, uh, Rich is backstage now. Um Dave uh, Dave McLaren says hope Jacob feels as as better soon, Andy. Thanks, David. <laughs> Go, so Andy. I mean, I mean the thing is that we're all talking about we're all talking about that second best show to be at. You know, what I mean, everyone's talking about that second best show. But what about the best show of the year that we've all got to get to? Yandel. Yeah, Yandel. Yeah, Yandel. You know what's the what's the date of the Yandel show this year, Richard? Oh, I've got an email about that. Actually, <laughs> um, I don't think there's an answer out there. Is it the sixteenth and seventeenth? September. I can't oh, remember. I forgot to ask Dan. I'm oh. waiting for uh, Dan to confirm so that we can get the ball rolling with the um, the meetup. Because I want to make sure I've booked my, my static caravan. There's about four of us going to go on it. Yeah, Ooh, I had a bit of chip out then, Steve. Are you being too aggressive? Um, September. No, polyester's really cold, actually. Which is probably why it's happening. Um, that's, that's answering the question, uh, Scott. It's Ish August, I think, to recall. <coughs> what, the end no, September. September, 11th and 12th of September. 11th and 12th of September. Ah, yeah. Oh, so, ah, uh, so, yes, no, haha. -ha. Of course. So the best show, the best shows of the year are going to be, are going to be the East Surrey Wood Tunnels in June, um, and the barbecue beforehand. So you know, you need to make sure you've you you you've got you've got your invite for the barbecue. Um, um, Mister Mister Wayne the Wood Tunner is live at the East Surrey. Um, wood tunnels down in Croydon, sunny Croydon. So that's that's the month after Home Sweet Home. It's a month three a month after um, Makers, right, Wayne? Yeah, good, isn't it? I was thinking to Wayne about that. You know, that'll be good. 29th of June, 29th of June, <gasps> the day after Sunny's birthday. While I remember, so we'll have to try and be good ish um, um, that day. Um, then we'll get Yandos. So the um, Yandos. Makers. And then Yandos. obviously Makers. Makers in May, Yandos in September. So you so, uh, Top Dog Workshop said, what's the nearest airport to Yandos? Bristol. Bristol. Yeah. Job Dog. Yeah, so Yandos show, with what we're putting on, is going to be, um, it's 11th to 12th of the show. But it'll be the 13th and the 14th that we're going to be doing our little thing. Little thing? Yeah. The marquees, lanes, stroll cars, yeah, Chainsaw yeah. yeah. carving, um, yeah. all sorts of goodies stuff. And didn't, didn't Andy? Did you do live metal etching or something at last year's Yandos uh, in the evening yeah. around the bar around around the bar uh, the, the barbecue? Um, yeah, well, I didn't yeah, want to get. Right. Yeah, I've still got mine. Yeah, I don't like I don't like sitting around doing nothing. So it was cool to sit around the fire and doing stuff, but I'd rather be uh, making something at the same time. 
So you can set yourself up in the marquee somewhere and carve until you're, you know, exhausted if you want. <laughs> until home time. Yeah. Don't set your car on fire this time. Yeah, don't 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 arrive in a burning car last time, man. I mean, yeah. we know you like to make an entrance, but you know, I mean, that was a bit much. That's whole yeah. fucking just, 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 just turn burning long or something. Yes, sir. I absolutely do. Wayne, have a spare place uh, for Yandos. Hey, hey. It's gonna be a great event, this year. It's gonna be consider it yours if you want it. Yeah, there's a bit of laugh. Well, it's a, it was good. It was a good night. I, so I didn't. I seem to. Didn't I wind up cooking uh, Matt from uh, Badger's workshop potatoes that wouldn't cook? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I was, I, was, I was there for ages trying to because we had that, le that lady that, that, that wanted a vegan option at a barbecue. Uh, Amy, wasn't it? Amy, yeah. that's correct. You always get one. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, a, it's completely all right, but you've kind of, I mean, the best way to do. You know, I mean, potatoes and a barbecue is good. The whole, you know, put them in tin foil, pour some oil in with them, and just, you know, I mean, do a kind of big potato thing, really, isn't it? I'll bring some, uh, I'll bring some marinated, actually, Sunny will probably bring some marinated, um, swordfish. Ooh. Steak for it this time. Well, we're going to have the 55 gallon drum. Proper. It's going to be two parts of it. Uh -huh. For everyone just to chuck whatever they want on it, be, you know, it'll be there burning. If you want to cook some, it help yourself. Splendid, splendid. But I've got to make it first. It's Young just, Jeff out in the chat says it's taking shape, and it's looking good. Thanks, sir. Well, what are we looking at? Do we have to go through the safety training, or is yours enough for it? Sorry? When were you doing it? Do we have to go through the safety chain training for the marquee? Or is yours enough for the assessment? Mine's enough. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. We don't have to wear scout outfits, do we? <laughs> if you want to, I'm not going to grumble. With a um, woggle. I can sort you a broad stone woggle. I mean, I'll grow my beard long enough so I can go woggle in my beard. So well, that's the problem yeah, now. Yeah. You can't actually see my wobble. Growing. You know? It doesn't matter what wobble I wear at school. I don't want to see your wobble. <laughs> <laughs> Beard these wobble, but they don't fall down. Oh, dear. <laughs> you know, last year, I think it was early last year, I made a scout wobble out of um, pencil, a multicolored pencil. Well, I gave that to uh, another scout leader and he lost it Friday. He's had it all that time on his nephew. And then we went out for a hike on Friday and he lost it. So, yeah. I'm make another one. Okay. Yeah, I'm making another one. Um, uh, Shop Dog, I mean, you're coming in from Fife, right? Or have I got, you know, I'm wrong. Uh, if you're coming in from Fife, you'll get a flight from. Um, um, you've got to fly from Edinburgh to, to Bristol, and then it's then it's an hour or something. But if you're driving, it's much more fun because you can fit. Yandos are, are extremely cheap. They do lots of good discounts on the days you're there for the wood. Definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. If you're going to make the trip, it's definitely worth it because they have good deals on timber, good deals on wood. Yeah. Um, it's a saw. It's yeah. basically a sawmill with quite a big event round about it. It's quite it's fun. I, I, uh, I intended to go into the sawmill once just to buy a bit of wood. I ended up going in about four times and yep. not really having enough room to yep. get home with the wood. Yep, it was uh, it was not, it was awesome. Dale, are you sure you don't want some beer bubbles? I I I I wouldn't be offended by some beer bubbles particularly. But my beer's never long enough really to get anything in. You know, I feel that uh, I I feel I'd have to glue them on just for effect. Although yours, Mr. Page, is 
is beginning to take on a certain hirsuteness. It's got a bit of length and a bit yeah. of yeti about it coming out the side. I'm going for the big time data at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I've been snipping bits off mine. I took I took an inch off it last week. Uh, what? A week before there. Took the up times 15, is it now? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really slightly down the bottom. I wonder, I wonder why your videos are getting slower. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be clean shaven and the videos will be in real time soon. <laughs> mm. Ow. Yeah, yeah, we can all turn a woggle. We could. We could all turn a woggle there. I'm sure a chat with Dandos would allow us to acquire some. You remember those offcuts? Oh yeah. They were yeah. like they were like twenty pence each. The the you know the offcuts from the bull blanks. They were worth every yeah, penny. Yeah, some not some nice maple ones I'm, as well. Didn't they? I'm gonna um, purple heart. I'm gonna be taking my lane. Um, Yours is quite dinky, you know. Yeah, yeah. And anyone else that wants to bring a lathe with them as well, we can set it up so that you know it's safe. But um, yeah, there's no reason why we can't have to go down and get a load of those offcuts cut for us. Yeah. Maybe try and bring a. Maybe try and. I mean, maybe try and get. Well, it depends. It depends. Maybe Dan's get some stuff we might be able to borrow for the night. Kind well, you did say that we can um, we can borrow some um, record power lathe, mm. uh, DML two fifties yeah. or something. I'm not sure, but he said he, he'll have to find out what days the show's on, um, and let me know. But yeah, it's nice. Last see. year was really good. Last year was really good. The change signal for tonight was really awesome. You know, I mean, staying over would have been better. Night, Leona. Night, Leona. As you said, yeah. it's looking good, Andy. Thank you. Uh, Steve says he turned 40 woggles for the local scouts here and lasered their name on them. Hey, that's... Come on. Oh, there's a bit of... There's a bit of... There's a bit of connection. No, it's me, going trying, on. it's me trying to charge my phone. I think I've got a bit of fluff. Probably a bit. It's probably a bit of the beard you cut off. Are you sure you make probably. sure it again? Yeah, probably. I had to cut Loki's eyebrows earlier because they were growing over into his eyes. So when you say Loki, I automatically think of my nephew. Every time you say Loki, that's what actually goes through my head, and then I remember your dog's called Loki. You know, what were you doing cutting my nephew's eyebrows? But the problem is, after I cut them, I took a streak of my tea. Um. And uh, I'm in there, so I'm going to run up and check on Carol. She had a seizure earlier. So, make sure she's all right. Excuse me. Oh, you Andy, tell. could you could you maybe move it down a tiny bit, mate? There you go. Sorry, I turned the speed up and I must have moved it. Um, Scott's asking, how much does this stuff wear your tips out, Andy? Um, well, probably not that much, to be fair. If you clean them with a metal file afterwards, which I do occasionally, they last quite a while, but this stuff's so soft. Teeth aren't even trying, to be fair. 
Is it more? Uh, is it? Is I mean, are they? Is it? You know, quite bitey, and and you're really holding it back. Uh, no, it's literally if I if I rest it on there, what? Don't find a plank bit. You be careful. Don't ruin it. I'm not putting any pressure. Just resting it. Wow. It's just uh, very controllable then. Yeah, extremely controllable. All right, I'm back. Extremely controllable. Yeah. Um, Shop dog says, "Oh, I forgot to ask Andy the important question. Did he find his screwdriver?" No, no, no. So my, the reason I d didn't do my uh, scroll picture yesterday was because I couldn't find the speaking screwdriver. Take the blade out. Is this a is this a certain Viking scroll picture? Yes, it is. Ooh, I look forward to that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I did um, consider doing that tonight. I'll be honest, but ooh. I'm not a scroll tourer yet. Never will be. Yeah. Ooh, gauntlets. <laughs> <laughs> um, Steve tried to I, I, I did help him out though. Yeah, you did, um, mate. Really um, Steve out in the chat says, "Have you, Andy? Have you ever carved candles? I used to practice on them a lot as a lad. Carve candles. Candles. Um, yes, I did when I was a kid. Um." Half soap. Um, that's quite fun. Prison art. I wasn't in prison, but um, soap's quite good. Good one to carve. There's some amazing people that do uh, carving in soap. Partly because they got nothing else to do, but. Kaz has got a bail. Uh, he says it's looking really good. Take cool, man. Night, Kaz. See you later, Kaz. So, Scott, white is the color we want, not the wood color. We want white on the on the piece for Sunday. Is the screwdriver for releasing and tightening the blade? Was that what the, the challenge was? Well, it was um, a, it was like a um, Allen key. It's an Allen key. I get screw. the idea. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the uh, the bit was in the screwdriver, which I put down. Can't find the screwdriver, and I only had the one bit that was the right size for the hex head. Uh, shop dog says, uh, weird look pink just now. Say again. The, the lighting is making the, look, you have a very faint pink look. Well, at least you lighting. can see it. Absolutely. It's very, very clear. <laughs> yeah. I was a bit concerned that you couldn't see it before, so, uh. Um, Mr. Twydale says, the Japanese candle carving is amazing. The think ahead to allow the wax to how the wax will flow when it's burning, which is artistic in itself. I haven't done that for ages, actually. I might have, have to. We got 16 watching and eight, 18 thumbs up. <laughs> nice. Nice. 
I like the imprint that it's making on that. Uh, it is. It's quite. Oh. It's. Um, I'm just. I'm, I'm. I was just thinking, Andy. I mean, in terms of yeah. coating that with ink, and mm. uh, and doing. Well, I was going to say potato prints, but you know what I mean. Rolling it across some leather. That'd be cool. <gasps> yeah. That would be. Well, cool. well, well. What about pastry? What Ooh, about as a rolling yeah. pin? Yeah. What about oh. as a rolling Ooh. pin? You know. That Carving a rope, cool. and, you know, that would be. I mean, yeah. Whoa, nearly lost it. That would be quite fun. That. That would right. be. Really good. That would be. They would. They would sell. I think I've started doing the the massive hog out. I think what I'll do is I'm going to stop there because next week I don't want to start doing the detail, and have to stop. I'd rather like have. A decent amount of time to carve one of the characters at least for everyone to see um so i'm going to make this one a short one i think purely for that fact and the missus just messaged me <laughs> uh -huh. come in the house no man or no, ven vengeances will ensue the uh little man's been he didn't sleep so well um <laughs> last night and she was very good let me uh have a full night's sleep because i had work today she didn't um so she's running on extremely low let me change the cam back a couple of little things out in the chat while changing cams um <laughs> um jay says he liked it before it started I'm not sure what that was. Uh, no, I'm not sure what that meant. Um, bit of a chat about carving spoons. Scott asks, has anyone ever carved spoons? Um, carved spoons, yeah. Rich done the spoon. Rich did a spoon when we were at Yandel's, actually. So he did. Yeah. So he oh, did. I, I remember that. Um, Jay says, awesome work, Andy. Look forward to seeing the finished item. Good Lord, there's four of us on the screen. That's a bit disturbing. <laughs> Uh, Dave says, night everyone, take care. Bye, Andy. Bye, Rich. Bye, Dale. Bye, JP. Bye. See you later. See you later. I almost expect that to always end with the theme tune from Rainbow. Say, so, oh, that's rubbish. That light's rubbish. But... Just a couple of handles on that, mate, and oh, just roll yeah. it out. Oh, yeah. Man. That's got to be it's nice little oak wooden handles, you know, either side. Wood, yeah, but it'd be nice contrast. Some nice um, dark wood. Bright is that a, GPS. Is that stuff? That's the food safe stuff, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Cool. Um. I've got so right, cool. In there that um, that makes ravioli. So that's kind of where my head went when I yeah. saw it. You yeah. know, I went. Yeah. But you, I mean, you could, I mean, think of the shapes you could make. Yeah. You can make cookie cutters. You yeah. know, Viking. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Viking, Viking, uh, Viking uh, ravioli. Yeah. What would Viking ravioli? Would be ravioli, but Viking would have something else. Though. No, that would be cool. Having a big pie with that. Room, I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Celtic Chapati Roller. Awesome. Um, lots of love out in the chat. Um, um, great work, Andy, from Doom McLaren. Stay says, amazing, Andy. Steve Twardell says, great job. Thanks for the live, mate. Um, Sneak says, or Young Clive says, and you can almost pitch him when he says this, that's looking coolio. So far, so good, Andy. Um, yeah, Nick the Flaming so. Turner. You know, Nick the Flaming Turner. Um, Looking good so far, Andy. Jay says, I meant like thumbs up. <laughs> and uh, and Mike says, Kelty Japati Roller. So we're all good. Yes, looks good, mate. Very, 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 very impressive. Very Ooh, big so lump of, 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 of resin. Look at this. I didn't realize it was so big until you held it there. Yeah, it's. Uh, 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 <laughs> There's some money's worth. So it's, it's, it's a fair old size. Mm. Yeah. 
Let me get a tape measure. Oh, hey, Jeff. It's about it is, Jeff. 300 mil, I think, if I remember rightly. No, 280 mil long. 77 mil wide. 76 mil wide. So, a decent chunk. But anyway, so thanks ever so much, guys, for jumping on. Uh, um, thanks. Thanks ever so much for all you guys that have been watching. Catch you later. Sleep well. See you next Bye. week, guys. Bye. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.